am having a look around the Hansa 418 sailing boat today. It's perfect for families and couples, 41 feet long. So I hope you can join me today and have a look around. I'm in the bow of the Hansa 418. Behind me you can see the anchor. It's not dropped now because we're in the marina. It's controlled by an anchor chain. That's below me here in the anchor locker. You can see it here, but actually you don't even have to touch it because it can be remotely lowered into the water and also raised up again. So it's fully automatic and whenever you press the remote control, it will take care of the anchor and the anchor chain. Right next to the anchor locker, we have a hatch here in the front of the boat. When we open it up, it leads directly down into the master cabin. So it's a skylight that's right above the head of the master cabin bed. It stays up as well. There's a nice hydraulic mechanism behind it so it doesn't fall down. And what's especially important for me, who likes to trip a lot, is that it's really flat. So there's no place that I can trip over when I'm outside on the deck now. You can see there's a second skylight here. It works the same way as the one we just saw. And it gives the master cabin a lot of natural light. You will see that later on when we're in the interior part of our boat. What I'm sitting next to here is called the self-taking jib. It's part of the Hansa Easy Sailing concept. And it's actually an invention that Hansa made themselves. So what it does is whenever you try to change directions, this will tack by itself and it makes the boat really easy to sail with just two people or just one person but without a big crew. As you can see behind me, the entire deck layout is very clear, very tidy, there's not much lying around, so it truly makes really nice pleasure sailing that you can have here. You can also put cushions down here to have a bit of a sun lounge that you can put in front of the boat here. What you can see next to me is that all the sheets are nicely stored away. They're hidden below me here and are led back to the cockpit area. So there's no sheets lying around, nothing to trip over again, so really good for myself. And everything is really tidy. Also in front of me here, there's a nice handrail. So whenever there's a bit of waves going on, there's always a place to hold on to. So no way of tripping or falling off the boat. I'm still standing on the foredeck. The sail is now hidden away because we're in the marina, but it's got a total sail area of 87 square meters. And the mast that you can see behind me is almost 20 meters high. I'm sitting at the port side helmsman position now. You can see I've got the steering wheel in front of me. This one is a carbon steering wheel that's optional to get on your own Hansa boat. Behind me, you can see that all the sheets are coming back to me from the front of the boat. They're all nicely hidden until they come out here. So I have easy access to them when they come here. And behind me, there's a little storage area where I can store all the sheets. So they're out of the way, no tripping again, so really good for me. A lot of our Hansa clients like to do a bit of chilled out um, cruising. So what they like to do is to actually sit around the corner, so leave the helmsman seat and just sit here so they can lean on the side and then it's really easy sailing because you still see everything to the front of the boat. On the starboard helmsman position, I have easy access to all the panels that you can see here beside me. The first one, for example, shows us the speed, the draft, the wind, etc. Everything that we need to control our cruising. Next to it, we can control the autopilot. We can tune it very finely so to tell him which course we want to do exactly. And again, the third panel here, that is to control the bow thruster that we have in the bow of our boat. Below me here, I have the engine control. So I can, of course, also use the engine if there's no wind or if I don't feel like sailing. So that's down here. The standard engine is a 39 horsepower engine, but that can be extended as well. So if you opt for a bit more speed, then that can be arranged. Next to me, you can see the tank cap. The tank below can be filled with 160 liters of diesel fuel. The compass and the chart plotter are right next to the cockpit table. As you can see, now it's stored away, so there's a lot of room to navigate around my boat. But when I'm sitting here and want to use the table, I can very easily just lift it up. It clicks and then it's completely fixed and can be used as a really nice table. Just as easily, I can put it back down. I can do it myself and it's gone again. 
I'm pulling over the helmsman's benches now in order to access the bathing platform. I will show you how it's done and then we can lower the bathing platform down into the water. To open the bathing platform, I just have to open the lock and then I can lower it by letting go of this rope. Now it's done already. I won't go swimming in the marina today, but I will just show you how it would be done. We have the ladder here, it's nicely stored away, and then we can just pull it out and lower it in the water. That was the outer deck. Now let's have a look inside. As you notice, coming down, I use a lot of handrails, so wherever I go on board, I have the option to be safe by holding on to something even though there might be some waves going on. The little panel that you can see here on the side of the pantry is our lighting system. It's very smart, it can control all the lightning inside of the saloon. So when I press each button, different things happen. For example, all the lights can be dimmed as well. So it's a really nice atmosphere that we have here in the evenings when we don't want the lights to be too bright. I'm in the pantry area now. You can see there's a really nice worktop here. We have the sink hidden as well. So you can just open it up whenever you need it. And when you don't need it, it's nice and gone and you can use the space as a worktop as well. There's also a backsplash, so whoever is sitting in the nice saloon will not get splashed when we are doing the dishes. We also have the fridge right here, so we can open it from the top, but there's also a second entrance to the fridge down below, so it is easier for organizing everything that's in the fridge. What you can see behind me is a lot of storage space. So every single one of these cupboards can be opened up. You see they go right to the back, right to the wall of the boat. Below the worktop here, we have the stove and the whole worktop will sink behind the cupboard and will just be gone and out of our way. There's of course a lot of options that you can choose from when designing your boat so your boat can be very individual like yourself and you can decide which kind of gadgets you need in your kitchen and which you don't. When you follow me you can see still a lot more storage area in the back of the pantry and the worktop just goes on and on. It's huge, it's impressive. It goes right to the back here, all the way storage space here and we also have a lot of a lot of uh, drawers and storage below. So everything that you could possibly need in your kitchen finds place here. As you see, I'm behind the pantry now. On this boat here, the pantry is extra long and it has been decided to put a big storage area in the back of the pantry. So as you can see, I can comfortably sit inside it and there's enough room here to put bicycles or your barbecue or spare cushions, spare sails, everything that you would not like lying around has space in here. If you don't need the extra storage space and would like um, a smaller pantry, it's also possible to use this space for another cabin. As you notice, I can open the stairs very easily. They actually open by themselves. There's a mechanism behind it that keeps it up here so it doesn't fall on my head. And below I have very easy access to the engine room. So everything that I need to do in sorts of maintenance or for example checking any oil filters, water filters, whatever you have in there, you can check from here and access it easily from the saloon area. And as easily it closes back down and we have our stairs back. Everything that you can't access from this side is easily accessible from the other side. So back in the pantry, here's also a big flap to open that just goes to the other side of the engine. I'm in the bathroom of the saloon area. There's a big sink here and mirrors behind. 
You see, I can open the mirrors as well and there's a little cupboard behind it. So there's plenty of room for all toiletries that you would need. And of course, there's also cupboards below and to the side. So plenty, plenty of room. What's very convenient, I can pull out the tap and then you can use it as a little shower head, for example, to wash your feet or to fill a bucket that you need. So if the sink is too small for whatever you need to do, you can just pull it out. The shower is right next to the sink area. You can see it's a real shower head and there's plenty of room still above me. So even a tall person can stand comfortably in the shower and doesn't have to crouch. Next to the shower, we have two shelves for everything you need while showering, your shampoo bottles, etc. can just be stored here. And below the shower, there's a very convenient seat that simultaneously hides the toilet that's beneath. And in order to not flood everything, I also have a dividing glass wall to close the drawer and the shower off to the sink area. I'm sitting in the saloon area now. You can see there's a massive table that I have here. I can also put it down so it's out of the way. But when I want to sit here with all my family or friends, it's the perfect place on the boat. You can see behind me, there's again a lot of storage space. So just back here and also at the top, I can open up the entire wall and have storage space behind. So everything is nicely hidden. Also in the back here, you notice a big speaker. So we can have a big entertainment system as well. And if you decide to have that option, there's also a lot of possibilities there to make this place truly your new living room on the ocean. As you can see, we have a special kind of wood um, on the table here and all the surfaces in the boat are the same. And we have the dark blue upholstery here. You can decide yourself what you want your boat to look like. So there's a lot of different options for the surfaces, so different kinds of woods. We have a lot of different options for the material and the colors of the cushions and the furniture. And you can find all that in our brochures. So if you go online and get uh, in contact with one of our dealers or ask them to send you one of the brochures, there's all the different options there. And you can just decide what works best for you and what mirrors your lifestyle the best. Another nice thing that I noticed in this table, it's a little hidden surprise, when I press here, I can slide out a wine bar that is hidden inside the table so it's out of the way until I actually want to invite somebody to a glass of wine. When all my friends or family are here, I do of course need a bigger table space as well. Then I can just pull this up, it clicks and then I have a huge table. It's really big. I can serve everybody who is sitting here and it's really easy easy to put back down again and then I have room to navigate around my book. If you want to be prepared for even more company on board, there's a really neat storage area down here. I can just open it up for you. And there's even more bottle storage down there, whether it's your wines or your, sh your champagne you will be prepared for everything that comes your way. Outside in the saloon, I have the navigation area that you can see here. I have enough space for all my seat charts. I can store them below as well, so they're out of the way. And I have everything that I need to take care of navigation. So there's a big panel here where I can organize all my power output along the boat. So I can decide if I want um, the light outside or the light inside, or the lights on the sails, um, etc. That's all here. I also have my radio. I have the real radio to listen to music and the heating and air conditioning control. So that's all within my reach. If I don't need that, if I prefer being outside for navigation, I can also lower this navigation table to the same height as my seat, put on another cushion, and then we have an even bigger space for all our guests to sit on. And as you can see behind me, there's still another couch. So there's a lot of room for everybody to be nice and comfortable. I'm sitting in the aft cabin. As you can see, there's a double bed here. So a lot of space for two people. We again have a lot of storage space. We have a big cupboard, a little nightstand and those overhead lockers here. So everything will be nice and tidy put away. There's also a lot of natural light coming in, 
What I like especially is a window in the hull down here, so even when I lie in bed reading, I can see the waves going past my window. I'm in the master cabin now. As you can see, there's another big double bed here. It's almost two meters long, so also suitable for a very tall person to lie comfortably down here. There's a lot of natural light coming in. So we have two hull windows on both sides and we have two skylights, one above the head area and one above the feet. So there's a lot of light coming in, but of course they can all be um, closed with blinds. So if we want it dark down here, we can do that as well. All the windows can be opened so we can create a really nice cross breeze as well. We again have a lot of storage space. So we have those overhead lockers and two big cupboards. If we don't want one of the cupboard, there's also an option to replace it with an ensuite bathroom that would lead right off the master cabin. What I really like as well is back there at the headboard. It has a really nice material. It kind of feels like a hotel bed. So really nice and sophisticated. And right across from me, there's a really big mirror that makes it easy for getting dressed and getting ready to go out. And in the entire cabin, the ceiling is very high, so it's easy to stand. You don't have to crouch anywhere to get ready. That was our tour of the Hansel 418. One of those boats could be yours from less than 160,000 euros. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact your dealer. There will be one in your area and they will be able to answer every question that you have and will also be able to create your dream boat together with you.